Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a 10 minute lower ab focused workout. This is also a no repeat workout, except we do have one exercise where we are on one side and then we do the other side, but I promise this 10 minutes is going to fly by. You don't need any equipment, just a soft surface beneath you. Also, if you are not following me on Instagram yet, make sure you go and do that. There I post extra workout content, behind the scenes, all that fun stuff. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, first exercise, we're gonna start off on our backs. Legs are gonna be straight up. You're gonna be in this crunch position, pressing the lower back to the floor. You're gonna drop the legs to about 45 degrees, bring them in and back up. So you're holding this crunch position the entire time, pressing the low back to the floor the entire time. Nice work. Taking a 15 second rest, you're gonna come up to your elbows. Next up, you're going to just bring one leg in at a time, like bicycle legs. Feet do not touch the floor. Here we go. Make sure you're keeping your chest lifted. Good work. Give yourself a little bit of a rest here because we're gonna stay in the same position. Next up, we're gonna do some crunch kicks. So legs are 90 degrees. You're gonna extend the legs, hold, bring them in, nice and simple. Make sure you're staying lifted in your chest here. You're not dropping down here. You wanna keep the back nice and straight and strong. Good, come down onto your back. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna do some reverse crunches. So you can do these with your legs bent or with your legs straight. If they're bent, you're placing the feet down flat on the floor, pressing the low back into the floor, and then coming up for a crunch, dropping them, or you can support the low back with your hands, extend the legs, keeping the low back pressed to the floor, coming in and extend. When you're doing this crunch, think about sending the bum to the sky versus sending the bum over your head. Then you're lifting with the low abs. Good, we're gonna sit up. Feet are kind of in front of you here. You're gonna have a slight bend in the knees and you're gonna sit back, but you wanna make sure that your back is nice and straight. From here, fingertips to the ears. You're gonna do an elbow to knee crunch. Back down to where you're feeling that tension on the low abs. Up for a crunch, 
Make sure that you're meeting the elbow and the knee in the center. You're not sitting fully up and taking the tension off the low abs. You want to keep the tension the whole time. Really make sure you're twisting with that upper body. Good, we're gonna flip it over into a high plank. From here, we're gonna do some plank toe taps. You're gonna reach opposite fingertips towards opposite toes. So right fingertips reaching for the left foot then coming back down, making sure you're coming back down into a straight line each time. And when you come up, you're gonna lead with those lower abs. So thinking of your lower abs as the top of the triangle, that will help you to really feel it in those low abs. Good, come down onto one side. From here, I'm laying on my right side, so I'm lifting my left leg. And you're going to crunch, lifting the leg up, back down. Then from here, you're going to crunch, bringing the leg up in front of you, back to center. So crunch to the front. work, flipping over to the other side. So we are working our obliques here a little bit with that side crunch, but when you bring that leg up to the front, don't let those hips sink back. Stay nice and straight up on these hips and even just bringing the leg up to the front and back down, you should already feel that in the low abs, but then you add the crunch, Whew, you should feel the burn. Good work, we're gonna flip it back over into a high plank. From here, we're just going to bring our knees into our chest. So, you can either do this with your toes like being lifted off the floor, or you can tap the toe to the floor to make it a little bit easier. Whatever allows you to really feel the contraction in the low abs the most. But you wanna stay nice and flat in this plank. No booties poking up in the air, stay nice and low. Bring those knees in as close as you can. Good. we're gonna flip it over onto our backs. This is our last exercise. We're gonna do some scissor kicks. So, 
Low back's gonna be pressed to the floor and the legs are gonna be doing this. You can either just do this or you can, whoa, coordination, add a twist with the elbows. Or you can bend the knees, tap them down to the floor, but make sure that low back's pressed to the floor. it guys great job i hope you enjoyed this quick 10 minute lower abs focused workout if you did give this video a thumbs up also let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and i'll see you guys very soon bye